Hey everyone, uh, coming at you with a quick little video here showcasing the new uh, tweet from Mongoose Radio for their new upcoming game, Crowsworn. Uh, it's the first platforming clip that we've seen from the devs, and so I just kind of wanted to give it a quick little overview and share some of my thoughts. Uh, but without further ado, here's the clip. Uh, and there it is. So let's let's break it down. Um, to start, the first things I immediately noticed when watching it for the first time were the HUD elements, um, where we have five magazines and one heal. Um, this obviously is to not be paid attention to. Um, there's also only five uh, health bars here. Um, but, you know, as Mongus Radio has stated in the past, them and their versions of HUD elements are generally used for testing. So for the most part, when looking at any given clip, you don't want to take the HUD element at face value because it might change, um, you know, as development goes along or, uh, you know, with progression based in the, the room layout that they have. Uh, immediately, we also note we can also note that this enemy, this, you know, Navani, Navi-like enemy here, um, gives three red crystals, or three, three currency, uh, that can be used in the shop, in the town above. Um, and we can also notice that when killing this last enemy, here, you pogo it once, so that's one damage. You dash... However, when you're in this state, you don't have the charged shoot ability um, like you do in the demo. So it's a little strange, in my opinion, because they're able to instantly use, you know, the, the, the super uh, bullet, essentially. And, you know, use up all of their bullets in the magazine to fire off a shot that uh, fire off a barrage of bullets that does three damage. Uh, however, as you can see... Only the last hit actually hits the enemy, dealing uh, dealing two damage, killing the enemy at three damage, uh, killing the enemy which has three health. Uh, but what I want to bring into to highlight here is right here. There is a frame of this white circle uh, that we've never seen before. So it's a, it's a little strange how you know this comes up and then they're immediately able to fire. Um, unlike in the Crowsworn demo, if you've seen or played it, uh, there's kind of those like red wisps that all come around, and then you know it, the you, you have to charge up the ability in a sense, which just doesn't look like the case here. Uh, and then this red circle or this white circle expands and kind of becomes like an an atom like shape uh, before it ends up dispersing, and then you know the attack comes out, um, which I thought was just super interesting, kind of that uh, whole sequence. But one thing I do want to bring to question, though, or kind of highlight in this is, as a speedrunner myself, I just kind of want to go over, like, the, the quote-unquote optimal way to, to do this room, because I just like, you know, analyzing, um, I, I love analyzing clips for, like, for movement tech, um, you know, it's, and this is just kind of a classic uh, Metroidvania type room, so let's uh, do that. So immediately off the bat here, they, you know, hit this enemy three times. Uh, and obviously that's just not optimal. <laughs> and so what you, so the enemy's here, right? You're wanting to get to this platform to be able to make it to over here as basically fast as possible so you can get up and get over it. Um, however, the way that they do that is through, you know, three hits, um, which obviously is not going to be optimal. And, you know, optimally you just jump and dash to this platform, uh, but that's not really uh, feasible in this sense with this enemy here. So there's probably two ways that you could do it, is you can immediately short hop, and then while under this enemy, you can dash and hit this side of the platform to then wall jump up to it, or wall jump and continue that way um, to, the, to the left. Or you can most likely, and probably what's going to be 
a little easier for some people is uh, you can up slash or pogo this enemy because you can definitely jump over it or you can probably go under it if you get to the, the edge here. You could probably up slash this enemy um, hoping that it doesn't cancel your height and then uh, um, make your way onto this platform either through you know a dash or just jumping to it and then continuing on um, instead of you know hitting it three times. And then what you're gonna want, what you'd want to do here is once you're on this platform, is instead of going back because this is a far jump from this platform to this platform, what you would want to do is just jump from here, jump over across, and then dash straight to here is gonna be a little faster than than coming to this other platform, but it is there for you know that reason, right? And you're gonna dash to here, and what you would not want to do is de is jump here. This is kind of a no go. Um, it's going to be slower because once again you're jumping backwards when you're trying to get to the top left of this room. And there's going to be this enemy here that you have to, this, you know, Navi enemy that you're going to have to go through. This wisp. So what you'd actually want to do here is drop down and then dash this length here to get to this wall. Um, because even if you kind of land or get, you know, even if the dash length isn't enough, it will at least get you over this kind of spike here these spikes um and then that's going to be enough uh, additionally you could you could probably also just do again with this platform is just jump over and dash under this enemy and it might be a little tighter so it might be a little bit easier to just dash under um but either way i think it would get you there you'd probably if you dashed over i don't know if the dash length would be enough it would probably get you to around here and you still need a wall jump up even though it's a tiny bit shorter um, but either way, it probably works just to get to this area as soon as possible. Um, but that is kind of, in terms of a speedrun and in terms of saving time, that's kind of not what you're wanting to do. And then the clip ends as they avoid this uh, little shot here. Uh, one thing that's also super interesting is these spikes here on this floor... Uh, remind me a lot of kind of Queen's Gardens area, so I'm assuming that these, because we already do have spikes that can be pogoed with things like the spikes that come from the Sir Garen fight and different stuff that we've seen in trailers and different clips, um, I'm assuming that these spikes here will not be able to be pogoed, so you, you will need to kind of go through this path to avoid them all. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, I guess I'll play the clip one more time and call it there.